Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. It's Monday and it's time for our weekly painting progress. Now, behold the extent of what we've got painted. No, just that's that's about it. Uh, these are some MR, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, 172nd scale Saxons that I picked up on a whim the other day. We'll put a video up on them hopefully in the next week. They were really cheap, and for 172nd scale figures, they seem pretty sturdy. Most of the time, my recollection of 172nd scale stuff is it's a bendy, warped, rubbery mess. But these guys are pretty solid. I also got a Viking to go along with them. I mean, 10 bucks for like 50 dudes, I, I really can't complain. Nice and solid. Sword's not moving, even though I'm smacking it there. Make him like a Jarl or something. So the other guys, I didn't bother putting anything really on their bases. I had planned on multi-basing them. We'll talk more about them later in the week. All right. So from Mr. Percival Sparkle Trout, we've got one of the Nostromo crew members, pretty much. This is one of the flight suits for their Void Troopers. I believe this is an engineer with his demo charges from Anvil Digital Forge. I know we've had a few of these featured, but he is absolutely all into them, and it seems that slowly but surely, his Gene Stealer Cold Forces have been adopting a very similar fashion, so I probably should start prepping for that. From Maker's Cult, I printed this up for him last week. This is one of their Servitor Droids, and you know we have a thing for close combat and heavy work hazardy type stuff so nice looking servitor here they did have quite a few options available so hopefully we'll see some more of these in the near future and they're big well everything's big compared to them but they're not augrin levels of big but they're still pretty decently sized in addition to those he got some engineers from makers colt's feudal guard printed up we'll paint it up i printed them up Almost a year ago, I think. We've had these guys for a while. It's crazy to think it's been about that long. I like this dude reloading the shotgun. So those are his four. Oh, wait, you know what? I actually did paint some stuff besides 172nd nonsense. I painted a random dwarf from Reaper. And bones, and I did not clean a single mold line on it anywhere. Ooh, I know, hideous gasp, the horror, the horror, it's okay. I just wanted to get him done. He'd been sitting around, and I was tired of staring at his unfinished face. So he got it, and he got it good. I did show this off the other day. This was from uh, Colossal Miniatures' upcoming Kickstarter that actually I think starts tomorrow. Uh, if it's still starting tomorrow, I'll put the link down below once that's live and going, so that way you guys can check it out. Uh, this was actually a failed print. He was set to get tossed when I thought, you know what, that might actually work because he just had these horrible gash marks that came out. That's why I didn't bother to clean off the weapons. I was going to toss him, but then I thought, you know what, that's kind of cool. Let's roll with it. So, we did. Now he is a battle-scarred victim of some kind of 1970s fantasy adversary with those rocking Neil Adams-looking comic book fantasy boots. Besides that, we finally got around to finishing up the Red Elf King, who I've had sitting here in front of me. And he's just red. It's not like it really took that much work. He actually went through a different few paint iterations before I finally just said screw it and went with the red. But I'm happy. You could use this dude for so many things besides just an obvious Elric stand-in, uh, as nice as that may be. I keep looking at him and thinking vampire. This guy would make an awesome vampire lord, you know, especially if you just have a nice, gaunt, really pale, pallid skin tone. I think it would totally work. And Lucid Eye does make some quite interesting figures. We'll see some more of their stuff in the future. I know he just showed off the Death Dealer pretty recently, too. And he's a solid hunk of metal. So if you like metal models, that might be something to check out. Besides that, to wrap things up for this week, I know it was a bit slow, I went ahead and started hastily painting up some of the Bestiarum figures 
I've shown off in the past. He's kind of hard to see all the details, but I wanted to make them as dark and as drab and as dingy and as dark soulsian as I possibly could. So we got the smaller dude, but these, I just, these are so my kind of thing. I think these turned out pretty well. I don't remember what the official name is. I'll put it in the description box in the comments or whatever if you guys want to hunt one down. I put him on a 40. This guy could have probably fit on a 42. He's on a 32 millimeter. He actually could have probably fit on a 32 millimeter as well. I just went with the bigger base. He's already huge. And here is his hammer brother. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. So again, I wanted to go as drab and as gray and as dull as possible. I know. There was talk of using some of these for making rules for demons and monsters like this in uh, some upcoming rule sets I saw, besides bestiarum stuff. Actually, their last month on Patreon had a really cool, like, whole adventure campaign with everything that they have available to be included in that, and I have yet to actually film that or build it, so hopefully we will have that on here in the future. I don't know. This week was just trying for me. I didn't have much success in getting things painted, having to deal with parents and nonsense at work. It's been a struggle, but at least I got something done. Hopefully all of you out there are taking it easy, getting your goodies painted. I don't know about you guys. I'm getting round two of my shots this coming weekend. Hopefully I'm not puking my brains out and feeling miserable, but that's just one step closer towards all of us getting to get to play in person again. Hooray! I can't wait for that day when it's safe to do so. So hopefully all of you out there are staying safe as well. I wish you the fondest and nicest of farewells for this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.